Genesis says that God created man in his image, male and female, he created them. And it is hotly disputed among biblical commentators as to exactly what the image of God means. I don't have a firm and fast opinion on that matter because I think ultimately it, it doesn't matter how you interpret it. The reason I say that is that some people think that the image of God is a structural property of human beings. For example, that we are persons, that we are self-conscious, moral agents endowed with free will, and in that sense are like God. Others say, no, the image of God is a functional image, namely God has placed us here on this planet as his representatives and delegates to rule in his name over the earth. We are representations of his sovereignty and his kingdom here on this planet, so the image of God is functional. Others will say, no, it's relational. The image of God means that we, of all creatures, have the ability to have a, a relationship with God, and it's in that relationship that the image of God uh, consists. The reason I say this doesn't matter, I think, ultimately in the end, which one you choose, is that they all imply the same thing in the end. Namely, in order to stand in a relationship with God, in order to function as his representative on this earth, you have to have certain structural properties like self-consciousness, freedom of the will, um, moral agency, and so forth. So that the grounding for these functions and relations consists in these properties which we share with God. So whether those properties just are God's image in us, or whether they are the basis and ground of the image, which is the function and relation, uh, I think can remain an open question. The point is that however you interpret the image of God, it entails that we are personal, self-conscious, moral agents just like God.